Okay, I just want to talk now a little bit about planting technique. Okay, so let me explain what planting technique is. As a byproduct of economic movement, um, if we go back to our third movement again, uh, when you get the same stroke going to the next string, as a byproduct, the pick makes contact with the adjacent string. So not only are you moving the pick, you're actually placing it on the, st on the string ready to play the next note, next string. Um, that is preparation. You're preparing the pick ready to play. Um, there's a number of different benefits from that. Uh, one is that, as we've already discussed, you're minimizing the movement from one string to the next. But the other advantage to it is that you're pre pre preparing the pick. So when you're in contact with the, the string, you can't possibly miss that string because you've already prepared the pick on that string. So I use this technique and I call it planting technique. Again, this technique is used in classical guitar and for those of you who don't know, I study classical guitar uh, to do degree level. Um, so I kind of made the correlation with that and with this technique, economy picking, um, and the economic mo movement of it. And planting is a byproduct. So a lot of the time I will practice scales using planting technique, but you don't have to literally use planting technique just with economic movement, just going with the next string to the next string with the same stroke. You can apply it to uh, inside movement. You can also apply it to outside movement. So alternate pickers can practice this. Um, so if we took, for instance, let's say we take the bottom E string and we just play repeated notes. I'm just going to continue muting it with the left hand here. If we just play repeated notes like so, um, that's cool, great. But once we've played, what's the right hand doing? It's not really doing anything. It's just hanging about, waiting to move to the next stroke position. However, you can be a lot more efficient with what you're doing with the right hand by applying planting technique. Um, so we're going to go down on the bottom E, but then we're going to immediately, as quickly as we can, prepare it by placing it ready in the upstroke position on the string, like this. Then we can repeat. What that does is that trains the right hand to only make the minimum movement possible with the right hand. Rather than, see all that excessive movement there? You can get this. Okay, of course, um, it's gonna sound staccato because you, you're having to mute the string, but this doesn't matter. This is not a replacement for playing the guitar. This is a technique with which you can train your right hand to make the minimum movement possible. And when it comes to actually applying um, scale practice or playing, improvising, whatever, your right hand will have been trained to make the minimum movement possible. So for me, this is an absolutely um, fantastic approach to playing. And it's definitely not something that I've s seen anybody talk about in uh, technique related videos. So, you know, hopefully this is a first, you know. <laughs> Uh, I know guys have been using it before, but um, for me, this, I think, is a fantastic way to be practicing your scales and to work on economy of movement with the right hand. So planting is definitely something I would incorporate it into your practice routine.